paint masked and ready to go. Morning guys, we got our coffee guys. Can't get the day started without it. Um, listen very closely. You guys hear that? So that's the shooting range behind my house. Honestly guys, I've hated it, dealing with it. That's my biggest pet peeve living here, is that shooting range on the weekends. The weekends is the only time I get to film videos and make good content. And then I come outside and you just hear bang bang. I feel like I say this in every single video, but it's just the biggest pet peeve. When it bothers me this much, I know you guys hear it and I know it bothers you. So I have to turn to making videos that just have music running in the background and stuff like that. And then in the midweek, like when I get home from work, they're shooting too. So I do have some good news um, that we've been working on kind of behind the scene. I haven't personally been working on it. In a month or so, I might be moving all my stuff to a new property where I'll be running a detail shop out of, hopefully in the near future. My dad's getting a new property to run another business off of, and the property is gonna be kind of uh, vacant for a while. So he wants me to move in there and make it look like it's being used. Um, my goal is to run like actual car meets there and make it a big thing, and I think this is gonna be like a really good idea. So I've been kind of working on that behind the scenes and just staying here at this place, holding my breath and knowing one day it's gonna get better. Honestly guys, since I've gotten the news for the new property, you guys seen the YouTube videos, the uploads have been slow, um, the videos have just been like, get apart, install, get apart, install, which is how I wanted it to with the carbon forge and all that stuff. But now that that's kind of over, I still got to do the interior of the car. It's just like, it's really repetitive on the channel and I want to introduce something new for you guys. So, um, hopefully in a month I get to move into that place. You guys are also expecting a new vehicle on this page and I kind of delayed that because I bought this right here. This car right there, it's just a Honda Civic, but I bought it to flip it guys just so I can get more cash. And I'm probably only gonna make like 1500 on top of what I bought it for, but it's still worth it to me. I like cleaning up cars and restoring them. So that's the kind of project I've been working on and the behind the scenes. But today's video is Shark Mouth Grill. So stay tuned to the end guys. Shark Mouth Grill is gonna be installed on the TL. guys so the whole entire time I was installing this part they were shooting the guns it was just bang 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 in the background and it was loud I'll play a clip so yeah I know you guys did not want to listen to that so instead you get to listen to me and I'm gonna put in the extra work and effort in recording this I don't have a professional setup so this takes me a lot of time I don't normally make videos like this so just bear with me guys I'm gonna take you through step by step Follow along to the end, especially if you guys are going to want to install this yourself. And drop a like, because this is taking me a lot of work. So step one is going to be removing the grill itself. So we'll start off with the top trim piece. You're going to see these four rubber grommets. There's one removed right there. Underneath it, you're going to find an 8mm nut. Remove all those, and your trim piece should slide right out. piece you're going to want to use a little flathead screwdriver be careful with it because you will break a tab if you force it back 
backside, pretty simple. You just remove all the screws you see on the backside and the rest of the grill will fall apart. Here's the new piece guys, uh, this is a Shark Mouth Grill from Endless RPM. Ever since I bought this car, people have been telling me to install this part. I don't know what took me so long, I wanted to get it, but here we are, finally getting it two and a half years later. The remainder of the plastic that's sitting on the grill needs to be cut off. This install requires you to get rid of your OEM grill. Once you start cutting, there's no way going back, you gotta do Shark Mouth with this bumper. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. See how much of a gap I, I left like a pinky finger gap right here. You want to cut right on this, this side of it um, so you can fit a 3M tape. We're going to put a sanding tip on the Dremel and go through and clean this up real quick. And then uh, we'll be ready to start with the 3M tape and alcohol and everything. This is why we put the tape, guys, just in case we don't jump the Dremel and hit the actual bumper where it's been painted already. And uh, so I can do my wipe down and not have to worry about the plastic scraping the paint. Open this up right here you guys saw and then I went back down here and sanded some more just to make this perfectly flat so the back side of this right here can sit flush on it when I'm using both hands and pushing it all the way in I'm pretty sure these little dimples right here are supposed to get screwed into this right here but even when I'm pushing all the way through like it barely lines up because the other side floats back the other way so once I get it sitted all the way inside I don't even know what I feel like this should be a little bit thicker right here to make the uh, the fitment a little bit better, but I'm going to work with it. It's these little tabs right here that go onto the bumper and set the bumper on top. But if the fitment's a little bit wacky going through here, I probably won't do that. So here's the mock-up fitment with the 3M tape, guys. And you guys are going to see I got a clip up top, and then I got this gap on the bottom that I'm not happy with. And trying to fit it in there you guys can see the 3m tape inside of there not happy with that at all been fighting the fitment for a little bit now i went upstairs and i found some of my headlight sealant i had a little bit more of the headlight rubber that you use to seal headlights this stuff stretches and uh it's easy to work with because it doesn't stick to your fingers and then when you heat it up it almost works as like a like a rubber glue and just bonds to plastic I'm hoping this is going to be a really strong and tight seal
I'm honestly a little bit disappointed on the fitment though. Um, I got the fitment the best I could, but I think it's just the fitment of the Shark Math grill itself. Um, it's, look guys, this side I can get to get into that hole right here, but this side I can't. And look, this might have to do with the bumper, so it might not just be, I know everyone's car is gonna be a little bit different. Helped a lot that we shaved right behind here to get these to seat on here. I've seen people slide these tabs underneath the bumper. That wasn't flying for me at all. Not flush with the bumper, so that's kind of frustrating. See right here, sticks up a little bit. It has nothing to do with that we have sealant underneath here. Like, I could not get it to seat even before I put that stuff right there. So, it was kind of disappointing, but I might just probably make another hole right here because this part that goes onto the car, let me show you guys real quick. These are aftermarket fenders, so this part right here, this thing is already aligned on its own, so I had this little zip tie on there, but this hole right here is already misaligned, so I'm probably just gonna have to redrill another big hole right here, and everything should fit well. But moving on to this top part right here, guys, these little holes right here that we took the bolts out of, right? The little eight millimeter bolts. Well, here is the trim pieces, right? Here's the OEM one. Has the four bolts on the back side, and they kind of slide into that. Well, the endless RPM one doesn't have that. So what we're gonna have to do is make our own holes right in through here. It looks like they made little dimples right there. If it's gonna focus, you guys see the little dimples? So I think we just put the OEM one back on, get perfect fitment with the screws on there and wrap it. And my wrap has like a little bit of hint of blue in it. Like it matches really close to the hood. So I think I'm just gonna do that. Let's just rewrap the old one. But I just wrapped this last week. The wrap job is super good, except for the backside. So we could probably fix the backside right now. Look at that, all done. All good to go. Now the bumper, time to put the bumper back on. We just gave it a good rinse down and it was really dirty up in here from the first clip you guys saw this morning with me in the dirt, but I want to show you guys the back side. Look at this stuff. It is sealed onto there, guys. You guys see that? It kind of melted itself onto the plastic. And, I mean, it's, it's made to have a perfect sealant, just like headlights should have had. That one, not that one. <laughs> this piece right here is a very important part of the bumper. When you go to put the bumper on, especially with one person, holding on this side, hold on this side, this thing flexes. These need to be attached to the top, and I just, this part right here, like kind of keeps the strength all the way through with the bumper. So, we went to O'Reilly's and we picked up some Gorilla Glue tape, and we picked up some Gorilla Glue uh, epoxy. So this stuff says sets in five minutes, it's clear, and what we're gonna do is go around the whole backside. So, we're gonna go around this whole backside right here, along the seam, and put the epoxy, and then over it, I'm gonna put the tape, to make sure it sits right there and stays and doesn't run and stays in the same spot um, and fully cures all the way. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back and try to put the bumper on. Cause I do not want this thing to fall apart and I want it to be as strong as possible. So we're gonna let that sit on there for a little bit. It didn't run as much as I thought it would. So we're gonna hold off on the tape for now. Oh, there's a little bit of running up here. We're gonna let the bumper sit in there overnight and dry as much as it can. Hopefully it's strong enough to go back on the bumper. I'm actually really scared putting this thing, taking it on and off by myself most of the time. Fingers are definitely crossed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it's the next day. We're back with the bumper and it's time to put it on. I got this splitter down here that is super heavy with the step lip on it. So it makes this bumper like really heavy guys. So like I could almost lift it up. You guys saw that, you saw that right? Here it is. Now, it does help that my car sits really low.
these carbon forge fenders right here been giving me the hardest time this piece right here is supposed to slide inside right there so I made a little slit inside of it because the carbon fender part was super thick but that slit doesn't go in far enough and it also needs to be a little bit lower so what I'm gonna do is actually just cut off the slit so it's not even there anymore it doesn't give me any problems this one broke off because this stuff is fragile so we're gonna go ahead and cut that off real quick I mean, that's the best we're going to get it. As for the Acura logo, that's Carbon Forge with the gold flake. I got it from H2O Creations. I'll tag his Instagram down below. But um, one thing he told me that I could do is take the OEM in the back plate right here. So remove the silver piece, and then you could cut off the, the little mounting parts right here since we're not gonna be using the old grill anyway. And then you could reapply this one on top of this so that your the A could stand out and not be sunken into the grill. But, completely optional. Last thing we gotta do guys is re-drill these holes. So there's three holes, but they're all kind of misaligned. So I'm just gonna start from the top and make one straight hole and put the clip back in just to add a little bit more reinforcement. And this is gonna actually help with the fitment because look, I'm pushing this in to throw that clip in there. Boom. This side is a lot better guys. Look at that much better would you guys have gone a different way about doing this let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments and what you guys think would be a good idea to use to mount this piece because from talking to other people who have mounted this they said it's kind of a sketchy thing to mount and there's just not enough like room to make that thing stick really good um i think i did a pretty good job cutting it guys just think if i were to cut actually along this side this piece right here would just be able to swing back and forth so Make sure you guys leave some plastic back there as a reinforcement so you can't be pushing this back. Look at that. It looks mean. You can't lie. This week, my interior gets shipped back to me. We've got a full carbon forge interior. It looks pretty sick from the photos I've seen, so definitely stay tuned for that. Drop a like on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.